draw gives me pleasures from the beginning, the very beginning I am working. And that doesn't happen when I am writing. Afterwards, uh, they are so different, the pleasures, that uh, we cannot compare them. The first thing I, I, I made in my life at the school was uh, drawing, because uh, each letter, A, B, C, D, F, is a little drawing. One thing I, I loved uh, when I was, um, I used to love when I was a child, uh, was the um, newspaper or comic, uh, comic strips. Then I used to, to draw the, the, to copy the, uh, the person. My father used to make very precise little drawings with a great talent. And he used to uh, hear um, a song and just play it uh, in the piano. But he had a big problem. He had a problem, not me, he had a big problem when he was a child because my, his father, my older grandparent that I didn't know, um, he said that painting and music w w were for, for ladies, for, for women only. So my father didn't develop its talents. And I think that was a big problem. But um, the talent, probably I have it from him to, to paint, uh, to, to draw. I never took classes. My family didn't have the money to pay the, the classes. So I abandoned painting and drawing, and I started to read a lot and to, to write. For a very, very, very long time, decades, I had to, to have a normal work to, to sustain my family and myself. And many, many years later, when I was working at the BBC External Services during the night shift, well, it was not possible to read and listen. It was not plus possible to write and listen, but it was possible for me to hear the, the um, transmission and make my drawings. I don't have any problem with that. Because I don't think much when I, I'm drawing. One usually doesn't think much when drawing or painting. Only when writing, of course, yes. I started with Indian ink, with very, very, very small drawings. They began to grow and to grow. And suddenly a friend of mine took them to the um, ICA, Institute of Contemporary Arts in London, um, the lady who was the curator, they liked him very much. And so I had my first exhibition there in London in a very important institute, no? together with Jim Dine. I cannot, uh, let's say, draw in the morning and write in the afternoon, or draw one week and the following week write, no. Once I start one of those, of, of all, two things, if I start drawing, I have I immerse myself in that world, and I continue for two, three, four, five months. If I start to write, I have to immerse myself also for three, four, five, six months. Now, if I use only Indian ink, that is only Indian ink, on, um, usually on um, on crystal, uh, Bristol cardboard, I am very happy. But once I begin to use color, I have nightmares and the night I can sleep well. Color is very conflictive to me. Now, I don't know why. I have nightmares. But with Indian ink, oh, life is wonderful. <laughs> A painting in the first and last instance is an endless struggle between darkness and light, from which light always emerges triumphant, even if we paint a completely black picture in order to see it, we have to surround it with light. How to imagine an unknown color, 
If paradise exists, it should include a trip to the infrared world and another beyond the ultraviolet world. A successful painting is a dream that dares to exist, or a nightmare. Very elaborate drawings tell us many things, in that they resemble literature, I think. The surreality in which I write and that which I paint help each other. Thanks to the invention of photography, painting found a thousand new languages. Each painting is a fragment of a painting of infinite dimensions that we never finish. One paints not only when painting, also when walking, when thinking, when sleeping. Oh no, the monsters do not pursue me. They walk with me all the time. Well, monsters always exist in the air, on paper. The artist, to draw them, captures them, copies them. He doesn't invent them. At times I feel that my hand, when I draw, has its own will. When I use blue, I believe it is the most beautiful color that exists. The same thing happens to me with orange, with green, with lilac. Each color is the most beautiful color that exists. All colors combine with all others. There are no poor combinations, only poor imaginations. Literature and music exist in time. They have a beginning and an end. Painting and sculpture exist in space. Where does the Venus de Milo begin? In her navel, in her breasts, or in her head? Where does an abstract painting begin? In the lower left corner or in the center? A painting not only recreates exterior reality, but also interior reality. I dream that I paint, and I paint the dream. When I wake up, on what side of reality will I be?